Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. Welcome to this Adobe Illustrator tutorial where we're gonna create a new Juventus logo. Juventus is the second oldest club in uh, Italy. It has a very strong heritage and history of achievements. Also, its emblem has undergone different changes and transformations since 1905. They were never been very dramatic. Well, almost never. All changed in 2017 when a new logo was introduced. So, let's build this logo together, here, inside Adobe Illustrator. I'm now in Adobe Illustrator 1920 by 1080 document. And first of all, I want to load the grid. So, Ctrl Quad or Command Quad to show the grid. Ctrl Shift Quad or Command Shift Quad to snap to the grid. You can also go to the view and find these options here. Then, for those who follow along this tutorial, I want to show my grid settings. So, Guides and Grid. I want to set grid line every 120 pixels, number of subdivision to 6. Okay, do the necessary changes, but before we, before we close in this menu, I want to set my keyboard increment to very low number. So, I want to set it to 0.2 pixels. Now click OK, and if you have this option here, snap to pixels, you probably want to open the snap to pixel option and uncheck all of these options, click OK, and now you can disable it here. So let's start building our Juventus logo type. First of all, grab your rectangle tool, hit once on your artboard and set the width of your rectangle to 200 pixels, set the height of your rectangle to 60 pixels, click OK. Click on this icon to swap fill and stroke and place it probably here. Then we need to grab our line segment tool and draw a line. I want this line to be tangent with right side of our rectangle. So grab your line segment tool, hold shift to draw a straight line and draw a line like this. Now we need to create a several duplicates and Create first duplicate here, just hold Alt and drag it to the distance of uh, 3 cells or 60 pixels. And then select both of your lines, hold Alt, hold Shift to move to the straight line and create a two more duplicates and set it to the distance of 3 pixels to the right. So we have these lines. Now we need to create a diagonal lines in our design and for doing this we need to rotate it in uh, negative 63 degrees. In order to achieve this we need to grab our rotate tool. These two guys should be selected and I want to hold alt on the top bottom of my left line. Click and open the rotate dialog box. Here we need to set a, an angle to negative 33 degrees and click copy. Now grab these lines and place it like here. So it's gonna, the top line is crossing your bottom right corner of your rectangle. And now we need to move these two lines down on the value of 11 cells. So we, I am gonna do this manually. So just simply 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we need to create a couple of duplicates of these lines. In order to do that, we need to first disable our snap to grid option. Ctrl Shift Quad or Command Shift Quad to disable this option and Ctrl Y or Command Y to enter the outline mode. So we can uh, see whether this line are match each, uh, each other. Grab these lines and move it to the bottom holding Alt key 
to create a duplicate and until your top line of your duplicate lines match with the bottom line of your original like so and then keep selected your duplicate keep selected your duplicate and do the same here moving it in, into the bottom or use ctrl d or command d to repeat this operation in adobe illustrator so after creating uh, two duplicates of this line we are ready to create our final design by placing a bunch of uh, circles in a special order so first we need to create a 230 pixel circle grab your ellipse tool hit once on your artboard and set the width and height of your ellipse to 230 pixels click ok we have this ellipse and we should place it like so between this line second line and this line second diagonal line I probably want to scale a little bit my artwork with Ctrl plus command plus then Ctrl Y to enter the outline mode move it like so and this is the reason why I choose very low number to our keyboard increment so I can adjust the placement of my circle I think it's uh, place it fairly good and I can create another one I do not want to leave the outline mode I'm gonna create next circle here so for next circle we need to set a diameter to 135 pixels click OK and this circle should be placed between first line and this first line and we need to place it very carefully I want to inspect very nice very nice then we need to create a giant circle and then I explain you how to place it so 520 pixels width and height our giant circle and this circle should be divided on one half by this line this line third line from our left on the half so it's cro cross the half and it's also should cross this top right point of our rectangle so we need to place it like so very nice so we have the last couple of duplicates for this for this design for this letter G for doing this grab your ellipse tool and first duplicate we need to create a 345 pixels 345 pixels duplicate circle and this circle we should place between third line here and third line here from our left and from our top I'm gonna place it like so then scale my artwork here I have very nice result and here I have also very nice result last circle 410 pixels diameter so set your width and height to 410 pixels click OK and this circle should be placed tangent with this lines number 4 and line number 4 here very nice so after doing this just ctrl a or command a to select all of your designs I also want to probably ctrl y or command y to leave the outline mode uh, whether you prefer it or not it's up to you you have your own life 
grab your sh shape builder tool or click shift L and start building your design. Letter G here. And before we build the last point, we need to grow, grab this line and cross it like that. So then select your line and select your second letter G. So we can delete unnecessary points, stray points, clean up my, our shape. Like so and so and last stray points here and this is how my friends you can design new Juventus logo inside Adobe Illustrator I hope you enjoy this tutorial if you do give a thumb up subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends I want to thank you for all and to the end have a nice day